Say hi, wife. Hi, wife. So, back on the go-kart today, the Chinese go-kart, we ordered a bigger sprocket to give us more torque. When we took this apart, we thought, oh, we can just take the bearings off and, uh, and it will fall right through there. No, it doesn't fall. See, I thought it would go right through there. It doesn't go right through there. Even when you take this off, because, well, this side will now. But, remember, this will have, you have to take the gear off, the sprocket off. And look, the sprocket comes off this way. And then you still have to take this off, because the brake disc, rotor, because it's right against that. You gotta disassemble the brake, and you gotta take this off because this won't allow you to move it all. I mean, because you can't move it once this is on. You can only go this far with that, and that end won't let it out. So, and you gotta take, so you gotta take everything out, basically, just to get this thing out. And it's not that hard. It's just kind of a, we just thought we could cheat. We thought we were smart. We're not that smart. We're not that smart. We're not that smart. No. Anyway, love well, you guys. This will save you time. Yeah, this will definitely save you time. So if you're changing the sprocket, and then you might as well go ahead and put new brake pads on, which we're going to do. And we also bought a new chain, so we're not going to use that old rusty thing. Um, so yeah, and it's not in water. That's in kerosene. I was going to clean it up, but it's far beyond. Love you guys. Peace out. Say hi, wife. Hi, wife. Hi, dog. Hi, Sophie. Um, so we're back at it. So we got the sprocket on and the brake rotor. And we're putting the hubs on now. Now the hubs, you put the axle in there, set it in there, and these hubs, see that space there? See this hub goes on like that. And then you, oh, and you push it all the way on there. I can't do this with one hand. Anyway, it pushes up in there, and then that hub has a little space there that fits into that hole there. And then you just line up the holes and you put your three axle bolts in, but you also put your you put your dust cover on. Dust cover goes over that. And then you put your three bolts in. Just like this and over here. So this hub centers the axle. So you just set your axle in there, put one of those hubs on. I put this one together so it would hold, because otherwise you're fighting the other side. Put that together now, I can fix this one. I can't push this by hand. But anyway, put that in there and get it all set up. And then, we got to put our, um, I put new brake pads on the, and there's my disc, brake disc down there. I put new pads in it. I cleaned my rotor because it was pretty dirty. Got my new sprocket on. And then we'll, I bought a new chain, and um, I'm going to put the same sprocket on here for now. But I do want to change it to a smaller tooth. I think it's 14 tooth. I'm going to go down to like 10 tooth. But I want to do it steps at a time so we know what happened. So first we're going to start with a bigger sprocket here before we go to a smaller sprocket here to see how much torque we get and how much steps along the way each step gets you. Peace out. Say hi, wife. Hi, wife. Back at the Felicity Garage. So we got our hubs on. We got the axle on, the hubs together. The sprockets on. The new shoes. Um, I was missing a bolt down there. So I didn't have a shorter one, so I just put two nuts on it. It works out perfect. It goes out long enough, it doesn't get near the sprocket. Um, note. Clean that, this brake caliper sticks. I think it's supposed to ride back and forth on this part here, as well as the pads on their own little clips up in there. Make sure that's all freed up. Mine's not, so it sticks a little bit. I mean, it's kind of free now, but um, just a side note, make sure you clean that up and make sure it works cleaner before you put it all back together. I'm happy with it. It worked before, I just put new, pads on. Probably didn't even need new pads, but they were soaked in oil.
Now we have our new chain. We have a new chain breaker. And we're getting ready to size up the chain. All right, so we got this chain breaker and we got our chain. This is the first time I ever used one of these and we just kind of figured it out on our own. So I did one side and then I stopped and did the other. Oh, don't take it out all the way like that, like I just did. I'm guessing that screws back together somehow. Gonna show them how not to do it, Judy. All right, well, are. I just unscrewed that so far it came out of there. But anyway, you screw down one side, then the other side. This pops out one side, this pops out the other side, and then you can take your chain apart to put your master link in. But this kind of centers itself, which I wanted to show you, but I can't now because I took it apart. End video. Okay. We put the chain on. Of course, it's going to be really loose. Um, so we're going to adjust it. This is the way you adjust it, by raising and lowering the engine itself. But it doesn't take much on this nut up here. Watch this. Um, I think I will... I think I'll stay with that. And uh, this is the nut. It raises and lowers the engine. It doesn't take that many turns to really loosen and tighten in this.